Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, I will share 15 steps and settings you can apply to increase or speed up your Windows 10 performance on your Windows laptop or desktop. So let's start with our first step. Delete all the temporary and junk files from your system. So let's start. First, press Window key and R together on your keyboard. This will open this run command. Now you have to type a command here type tmp then press enter so this will open all the temporary files you have in your system now select all the files then delete delete all the files you can skip the remaining files now cut this window and again press window key and R together to open run command now type the next command percentage tamp percentage so type this command then click on ok this will also open the temporary files select all the files then press delete to delete all the temporary files now cut this window again press the same keys window key and R together and now type prefetch then click on ok Select all the files. If you have more than uh, one file, select all the files, then click on yes to delete it. Now move on to the next step. Run disk cleanup. So click on this search box and type disk cleanup. You will see this option disk cleanup. Click on it. Now select your C drive which contains the operating system. Select the C drive, then click on OK. After that, click on this option, clean up system files. Again, select the C drive, click on OK. Now wait for a few seconds. Now you have to tick all the options. Okay, tick all the options you have. So this will select all the uh, temporary and junk files in your system. So select all the files, then click on OK. This will delete all the temporary files permanently. Click on delete files. This process will take couple of minutes. Now move on to the next step. Enable storage sense. So click on this windows icon. Then click on this settings option. After that click on this system option. Now on the left side click on this storage option now on the right side you will see this option storage storage sense can automatically free up the space okay so this option will automatically free up the space in your system so enable this option okay this is important cut this window now move on to the next step disable all the startup applications you have in your system so press control key shift key and skip key so this will open the task manager like this or you can simply right click on the taskbar and click on task manager so there are two ways you can open this task manager okay now if you see this kind of small screen click on more details after that click on this tab startup and this will show you all the startup applications you have in your system so disable all the startup applications by right click on it then click on disable so disable all the startup applications of one by one on your system like this right click on it select disable so disable all the startup applications after that cut this window now move on to the next step disable all the background application so click on windows icon then click on this settings option after that click on this privacy option now on the left side scroll down and you will see this option background apps click on it after that on the right side you will see these all are the background applications which are currently running so you have to disable all the background applications so just click on this option so this will turn off all the background applications okay that's it cut this window now move on to the next step 
uninstall all the unnecessary and unwanted softwares and applications if you have in your system so click on this search box and then type control you will get this result control panel click on it now go to this view by section and select small icons after that click on this option program and features so this will show you all the programs and applications you have installed in your system so if there is any unnecessary application you have in your system simply uninstall that by right click on it for example if you want to uninstall this application right click on it then select uninstall so this will uninstall this application like this so uninstall the unnecessary application you have in your system now move on to the next step disable unnecessary and unwanted notification so click on this search box and type notification you will get this result notifications and actions settings click on it now you can turn off all the notifications by just click on this option so this will disable all the notifications or you can also disable some particular notifications from your system okay like this if you uh, do not want tips and tricks you can disable it from here okay or you can disable all the notifications or you can also disable notification for a particular applications as well so if you want to disable the notification from uh, for this app you can do it from here or you can disable all by clicking on this option so disable unnecessary uh, notifications from your system cut this window now move on to the next step disable transparency effects so click on this windows icon click on this settings option after that click on this option personalization now on the left side click on this colors option after that on the right side you will see this option transparency effect turn off this option okay cut this window that's it now move on to the next step or settings disable game bar and game mode in your system if you are not uh, playing so much games you can disable this game bar or game mode option so go to this windows icon click on it then click on this settings option after that click on this gaming option and here you will see this option game bar turn off this option go to game mode disable game mode as well so disable gaming mode and gaming game bar in your system cut this window now move on to the next and the most effective setting you can apply so set your pc for the best performance so for this click on this uh, search box and then type view advanced system settings you will get this result view advanced system settings click on it now after that click on this advanced tab in the uh, performance column you will see this option settings click on it now here you will get these four options so select the third one adjust for the best performance so this will adjust your pc for the best performance okay and this will disable all the effects as you can see now after selecting this option adjust for the best performance uh, you have to enable some features so tick these option so you have to enable these features so enable these five features after that click on apply then click on ok now click on ok now move on to the next effective setting you can apply is set the virtual memory in your system so i will show you how to set the virtual memory first click on this search box and type a view advanced system settings you will get this result view ad advanced system settings click on it now click on this advanced tab okay after that go to this performance column and click on this settings tab and here you will get this advanced tab again click on it now you will see this option virtual memory click on change now you can change or set the virtual memory in your system so first untick this option automatically manage untick this option now after that select your c drive okay there are two partitions i have so select the c drive 
After that, click on this option, custom size. Now you have to set the initial size or the maximum size. So you have to set the minimum virtual memory and the maximum virtual memory. So I will show you how to set the minimum and the uh, maximum virtual memory. So your minimum virtual memory will be 1.5 times of your physical memory you have in your system and your maximum virtual memory will be 3 times of your physical memory uh, you have in your system. So I will show you how to calculate this. So first check how much physical memory which you are using in your system. So just right click on the taskbar then click on task manager then go to this performance tab then click on this memory section and this will show you how much memory you are using in your system how much ram you are using in your system so you can see i am using 8 gb of ram in my system so i will calculate the whole virtual memory uh, with 8 GB of RAM, the physical RAM which I am using. Now open the calculator. So I have to uh, multiply my physical RAM with 1.5 to set my minimum virtual memory. So my physical memory is 8 GB. So first I have to convert GB into uh, MB. So 1 GB is equal to 1024 MB. So I have to multiply it by 8 because I am using 8 GB of RAM. So this is the RAM which I am using. This is a physical RAM in MB which I am using right now. So I have to multiply this with 1.5. So this is my minimum virtual memory which I can set. So I will copy this and paste it here just remove this comma now do, uh, do the same thing for maximum virtual memory so i will calculate again so first i will convert my 8 gb ram into mb so 1 gb is equal to 1024 mb then into 8 because i am using 8 gb of physical memory in my system this is the physical uh, memory I am using in MB now into this to 3 3 times so this is the maximum virtual memory which I can use remove this comma that's it now click on set as you can see the memory the virtual memory has been set click on ok click on ok ok and cut this window so this is how you can manually set your virtual memory in your system. Now move on to the next step. Remove all the viruses from your system. So in Windows 10, you will get a preloaded antivirus by Microsoft. So you can use that antivirus to remove all kind of viruses from your system. I will show you how to use that antivirus. So click on this search box, then type antivirus. Now you will see this result, virus and threat protection. Now here, this is the preloaded antivirus you will get on Windows 10. So click on this option, scan options. So there are four type of scan option you will get. First is quick, full, custom and Microsoft Defender offline scan. So uh, you can use the full scan or you can go for this uh, Microsoft Defender offline scan. So these two are good. So you can select any of them go for full or you can go for the offline scan to remove all kind of viruses from your system so you can apply this tool now move on to the next step delete all kind of malicious software from your system so in windows 10 you will get a preloaded a malicious software removal tool by microsoft i will show you how to run that tool so press window key and r together to open the run command now here you have to type mrt type mrt then click on OK. After that, wait for 10 to 15 seconds. So this will show you this kind of window. Microsoft Windows Malicious a Software Removal Tool. So this is a preloaded tool you will get on Windows 10. Click on Next. 
now they are three type of scan quick full or customized scan so go for full scan so this will scan your pc completely and remove all kind of malicious software from your system so click on full scan and after that click on next so uh, this will scan your pc completely now move on to the next setting you can apply is disable unnecessary services in your system so for this click a window key and r together to open run command like this now here type ms config type this command ms config then click on ok so this will open this kind of window system configuration click on this third tab services after that click on this uh, tick this option hide all microsoft services so this will hide all the important and all microsoft services so these are the re remaining services you will get so disable all these services if your system is uh, working very slow disable all the uh, services you have in your system so just click on this option disable all that's it click on apply then click on ok after that restart uh, your system now move on to the final step the final method the final uh, setting you can apply is run the defragment i will show you how to run the defragment in your system so first open this pc now after that right click on the c drive which contains the operating system right click on the c drive then click on properties now here click on this tools tab and now there are two options you can use first uh, check for errors error checking click on check click on scan drive so this will scan your hard drive to check for any error so this will show you if you have any errors in your hard drive after that click on this optimize option to optimize your hard drive click on optimize now select your c drive then click on optimize so this will optimize your c drive after completing this process click on close click on okay cut this window and restart your system so these are the 15 steps or settings you can apply to speed up your windows 10 performance this is all for the video thank you